When you go to sequence a genome, you could sequence the whole thing end to end across every human chromosome, um, and that's certainly feasible. Uh, human genome is about three billion letters or bases, um, or each human genome in a given person, of course, is six billion, three billion from mom, three billion from dad. Uh, but that's still a lot of DNA uh, to sequence. So genomicists have come up with shortcuts, if you will. So for example, a common shortcut that is used is to just sequence the parts of the genome that directly code for proteins, protein coding genes. And those portions of genes that code for proteins are called exons. And exons each contain a little bit of information for encoding um, a given protein. In total, across the whole human genome, about 1.7 percent or so corresponds to coding regions, corresponds to exomes. And so a current shortcut that is used is a method that allows you to pull out of a human DNA sample just the exomes and sequencing them. And that's sometimes referred to as whole exome sequencing because you get the whole human exome. So you just get the 1.7 percent or so of a human's genome that corresponds to the protein coding part. And the reason that's so useful is that's the part of the human genome that today we really understand. There's a lot of other parts of the human genome that are functionally important, but we're just now learning how that part works. And so for the purposes of being able to sequence the part of the human genome that we can most readily interpret, people turn to the exome first and do whole exome sequencing.